Yo, what's good? What's good? What the business is, man. man? For the people who don't know what's going on right now, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Done, died a top shot, man. Do what it's done, man. For real, man. Nah, for sure, for sure. Now, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You've been going crazy. You've been on the radar for a minute, but you, like, it's like the last few months, you've really been in overdrive right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, let's let's take it back. For the people who don't know what's going on, where you from? And, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm from North Dallas. You know what I'm saying? All parts of the exact. You know what I'm saying? That's North West Dallas. You know what I'm saying? That shit, you know. I'm just saying, young yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? We'll get paper. You know, that's what I'm known for. Get money. That's it. For sure, for sure. Now, shit, uh, you just came home not too long ago, maybe like what a year and a half now. Yeah. All right. Now, shit, like when you, you know, when you got out, a lot of people was, a lot of people was excited, bro. So, like, what's your, what's your ties, man? Like, how you got so many good relationships? That shit, you know. Just, I just keep a good face card through anything I do. You know what I'm saying? From business to personal relations. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people know me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm a cool nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a cool nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, shit, bro, when you, you, you dropped a few videos when you got out, but like right now, I feel like you, you going you going hard, bro. Like what, what kind of, you know, influenced the shift? You know what I'm saying? I started seeing like bigger, like insights, like for like people tapping in, like people actually fuck with it. So that started making me take it more serious. Like, made me feel like, yeah, like, they really fucking with your shit. You really hard. You can be a rapper, so that this stuff just clicking in my head. So I'm like, I'm finna go hard with this shit. And I see the more consistent I get, the more you know what I'm saying, stain my pick up. So you yeah. feel me? I yeah. just feel like I should just keep going harder, and eventually this shit gonna pop. You got to. No, for sure, for sure. What's it like being an independent artist in Dallas right now, a rising artist? Shit, man. You gotta have your paper right. <laughs> Real shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like you gotta have your paper and your image right. In Dallas, especially like. Dallas is a city of, like, I'm gonna say, no cap, hate. You know what I'm saying? They gonna hate on you, you know what I'm saying? But if you really popping this shit, they gonna fuck with you. That one thing about the city. If you really popping this shit and they know you popping this shit, you know what I'm saying? And this is what you doing, they gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? But as far as that, like, you gotta come on with it. You gotta get all the way right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, an independent yeah. order and push that shit out, push songs out. Nah, Pretty facts, tough. facts, facts. Do you feel like it's a, it's a scene here? Do you feel like it's, you know, like, can niggas really flourish being an artist? Do you feel like it's lucrative being an artist right now? In Dallas, nah, it's not really a market. But it can be more creative though. If you know, if niggas start working on like networking with each other and shit, like niggas can can definitely create a market out here. But you know, it's all about like, you know what I'm saying? Certain individuals, you know, that they won't come together. So you can't force everybody to get on one. You know nah, what I'm saying? For sure. How important is networking? Can you feel like being an artist, you could just go outside and work in Dallas. Not just you, like any artist, you know what I'm saying? Uh, any artist, hell nah. <laughs> hell nah, but like, nigga ain't gonna just wanna fuck with you, just be like, hey bro, come fuck me, unless you try to spend some money, like you try to pay for a fee. But like, it's all about like, really being out here, like being active, like, as far as in Dallas, like, if you in the mix and people really see you in the mix, they gonna fuck with you, cause they gonna be like, yeah, that nigga really, like, you know what I'm saying, that what he doing, like, but if they don't know you, like, Shit, yeah, you might have to pay a nigga or something, but like other than that, nigga ain't gonna really just tap in like that already, bro. Oh, fact, fact, fact. Why, why you think it's like that? I don't know. I feel like Dallas is like, it's a competition city. Like, it's a race. Like, niggas, like, a lot of people in a race with each other out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some real shit. Yeah. Okay, so. Once a nigga see, like, it'd it be cool right now, like, we're on the same level, but once a nigga see you getting ahead, like, that's when shit, like, I heard it get, it get murky, like, you know what I'm saying? So, that just gotta change, like, for real, like, I feel, feel like a lot of niggas gotta just come together out here, and this shit can really be a powerhouse. Man, everybody always say that, but, like, like what, what, what would be the first step in that direction, though, like? I know what I'm saying a lot of people. I know a lot of people. The blogs, bro. Every interview I'm starting to hear the blogs keeping up shit in the city. The blogs, messy. The blogs, this. The blogs. Nah, that. It, it ain't the blogs. The blogs is just posting what's going on. Niggas know what's going on in the streets. The blogs is just reporting what's going on. Like, nigga can't even if a blog was to make, even if like the blogs post some shit saying this was going on. Y'all, this, these, whoever clashing. Y'all need to stop this shit, or can we stop this shit, or can we come to a conclusion where we can I ain't resolve gonna lie. this? Blogs it's, don't say that yeah. though. 
I ain't yeah. gonna lie, I don't even say that. Yeah, like, exactly. Post no. up, but I'm I not... feel like even if y'all did, it wouldn't motherfucking matter. <laughs> Shit, real <laughs> talk. So you posting about it don't matter. Either. Niggas gonna get active regardless if it's a situation that's going on. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter about vlogs posting. Vlogs not keeping shit up. They just let people who don't know what's going on in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I mean, who ain't in the streets? They let y'all know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. everybody not in the mix. You feel yeah. me? So without vlogs, niggas just wouldn't know what's going on. That's it. Right, right. right. Really? Shit. Right. So. It's not they keeping up drama. I I can't say that. Like, but at, at a kind of sort of, but not really, bro. Yeah, Cause okay. regardless, nigga, if it's not even in the spotlight, niggas already got smoke and this shit getting handled and shit like that. Whether yeah. it's being vlogged or not, you know what I mean? Nah, fact, fact. Shit. Uh, bro. Seeing as though, you know, like it's kind of like the rap games. It, it's more blogs that's picking up on music first before like the DJs before influencers like it's really like the music is going to the blogs first do you feel like that's helping or hurting the game because i let me actually tell you why i feel like that because it's all to i feel like when niggas put all that that uh that pressure on the blog yeah. the music that come out is pretty much just dictated by that platform you yeah. know what i'm saying so if you don't so, really know nothing and if you just if you a rapper and all you got your limit is just this one platform how far could that really take you you know what i'm saying if yeah. niggas just feel like if they ain't posting everything no blog is posting every artist yeah you know what i'm saying so like what you think about that i think shit anytime you get posted on a uh, on a blogging page bro like it's a plus like it's a positive bro because don't nobody know you. This is this is a platform that you didn't have. You know what I'm saying? Or a following that you didn't that didn't see what you had going on. So it's definitely a plus. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a few cons. It's always gonna be a hater everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like or somebody with something negative to say. But it's always back in your face out there. So as long as you've been posted, you know what I'm saying? On this platform, that's gonna help. It's gonna gain. You are gonna see more gains than cons, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I really feel about it. You feel me? For sure. For sure. I said, for the most part, bro, I feel like you stay out the way. Like, shit, you get on Instagram, you probably post some funny shit, you know what I'm saying, yeah. your music and shit. Yeah. But it's like, you really kind of dibbling down on the internet. It's not too much. I don't ever see you really put too yeah. much on the internet. Yeah, because I ain't going to lie. I'm young, but like, I think like a, uh, like, I gotta say, like a street bitch, and that shit on the internet, like they watch that shit for real. So you just can't go too crazy on that motherfucker, cause man, them people come get you, like for real, like and that's something I know. So I try to, I try to let people see what's going on without really doing too much, cause some niggas just do too much, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't never want to do too much, but you always want to give like a little insight of what's going on. Nah, for sure, for me? sure. Now, shit, bro, you just came home. You want to speak about your charge and what you sit down and do time for? It. Oh shit, my uh, I had got arrested when I was 17 for an aggravated robbery, you know what I'm saying? Okay. In a burglary, so you know, I had that time on that, you okay. know what I'm saying? So, and how long did you do? Three years, three years on the five. Okay, okay. Now, did you have co defendants? Yeah. Did anybody tell on you? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, on the uh, not on the aggravated robbery case, you know what I'm saying? I was really gonna take the uh, charge initially, I took the charge, you know what I'm saying? And on that case, my co defendant on there, when he turned himself in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we still cool to this day, but on a burglar case, like, yeah, but like, it ain't too much to speak on, like, niggas know, like, who yeah. around, or who nah, well, I ain't, I ain't yeah. asking this for you to name names or anything oh, yeah, like that, yeah, but yeah, it's definitely. just like, when you, like, even for young people that's watching this, you know what I'm saying, they they might have somebody around them that they yeah. contemplating on doing something with, yeah. not knowing that. Oh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, right. that's a lot of you niggas, that's, they, I ain't gonna lie, they like 75% of niggas who, I, I heard Duggan, bro, like, niggas think they like that until they get put under that pressure, bro. Like, everybody's not built like that. Like, everybody's not cut from the same cloth. And, right. and niggas is really just getting around niggas, and, and they think they like that until they get in that position, bro. Right. For real. And, and, and they get to hearing shit. Like, and niggas is going to fold, bro. I just seen it. I just seen the best of the best, man. Like, for real. And, they, and sometimes niggas be every man for himself. Man, so, majority see, of the time it. is every man for himself. Yeah, yeah, majority of the time. But it depends on who you fuck with, like. But at the same time, you never know. You never know who will do it to you. So, you know, like you say, you gotta be careful. That's why you don't hang with too many niggas, period, you know? Nah, facts, facts, facts. Now, shit, bro. And your music, like, you make it you make it apparent, like, to say that you really don't be out here scamming. Like, 
<laughs> so like, what what you got against scammers, bro? Like, I don't got nothing, man. I don't got nothing against scammers, bro. I got a lot of partners who fuck around. You know what I'm saying? With the fuck around, it's just, bro. Motherfuckers like, I be popping my shit on the ground so hard, motherfuckers swear I scam, bro, and they be trying to tell me up and down. Like, a motherfucker argue me down one day and told me I scam, bro. Real <laughs> shit. Real talk, that whole base off the sound of PVP and nigga, it was a rumor going on. My hood smart, bro. Like, so niggas talk, niggas hate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, a nigga say, uh, I came home to a PVP. Like, nigga, when I came home, that shit was over with, you know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. like, I never found PPP, I ain't never had none of that shit. Like, but that just went my lane, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit not out of a scan, that's all I'm saying. Like, you know, this shit, off shoes, I resell shoes, you feel you know I me? Mean? Yeah. You did? Like, I just don't, you know what I'm saying? That in my lane. Yeah, 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 nah, for yeah. sure, for sure, for Now, I see it, bro, like, do you feel like, I mean, I know a lot of scammers that's doing bad right now, bro. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of scammers. I feel like with scamming, bro, it's kind of you up. You never know what a scammer. They nah, might be up. They might I, be I, down. I'm going to tell you what it is. Some of these niggas wasn't really scammers. They was just like, they was just niggas with the, uh, the stimulus loans and shit. Like, niggas wasn't scamming, like, hitting accounts and shit like that. They're like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of these niggas were like PPP scammers. And I'm going to get you this back. Like, it's a difference, bro. Like, a scammer, like, for real, like, yeah, nah, you know what I'm saying? That's why you see, like. Niggas who really like fuck around like the real scammers, niggas still lit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you in the mix, you know what's going on. Like, niggas still lit. But you know the PPP scammers, the stimulus scammers, from the real deal, like it just separated in, the, in this last year. That's all it was, you know what I'm saying? Wow. You see who was getting benefits out the out the chicks and who really did doing that shit. Wow, for <laughs> nah, for real though. For sure, for no sure. Cap. Nah shit, bro. Like if you had to say a, a genre of like your music, what would you say your genre is? Trap. Okay. Trap, like yeah, trap rap, like I, I fuck with trap rappers, yeah. like for real. No, or, sure. or, or get money music, you feel me? I make you want to get some money. For sure, yeah. for sure. Now, shit, who like if you if you if you have to name your top five like trap rappers of all time, who would you who would you put in there? Let me see, Gucci, no particular order, no particular order, Gucci, Jeezy, Goddamn Future. Let me see, man. The last two. I ain't gonna lock it right there. That that's my hardest three right there. Gucci, Jeezy, Future. Gucci, Jeezy, Future for sure. Like off the dribble. Like that's off the dribble. And the last two is just kinda it's kinda iffy, cause I ain't gonna lie, them the only niggas that really inspire me for like trap trap music, bro. Like for real. Yeah. Real talk. Everybody else is like they son. No, like sure. real talk, them like the founding father, really. For sure, for sure. That's, no, bro. Off camera, bro, you were saying that you, you made beats at uh My World Studios, yo. you know what I'm saying? Working with a, a couple different artists. I ain't know that shit. Yeah, so, like, how old were you around this time? Like, I was like uh, 17, 17, okay. 18, something okay, like that. It's like right before you caught your case. Yeah, yeah. it's oh. right after I was still fighting my case while I was doing it. Yeah, okay, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah. But there's all fucking around up there, like, making beats, you know what I'm saying? Top of blast. Like, I really, like, that's what I really. That's what I really, like, let me get to you. You had a chance to see like all the different ways of Dallas, like as far as like the new wave of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like what to where it is now, like what you think about that transition? Man, Dallas went from sounding like having this song sound of this uh, like a gumbo pot of different states. No cap. I'm talking about you got Detroit, you got Memphis, you got Atlanta, like it's just it transitioned to something else. like at first like it had potential to have its own little sound and for that how I feel. And then she just went I don't know where it went left. Like shit, nigga just everybody just started trying to be from everywhere else. Yeah, you know. Yeah. For real talk. That's how I feel. Okay. Damn, damn. Now shit bro, your beat selection is like kinda Detroit a little bit to me. But it's like you got your own sound. I go to I ain't gonna lie, like I I look for like a uh, like a cheap Keith. I ain't gonna lie, like a cheap yeah. Keith type beat or or, or bankroll fresh and shit like that. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's that's my type of selection. Like I want to go back like that. Shit. That's so it. so let's talk about it, bro. You used to listen to cheap Keith? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Like you, a bitch. You feel like okay? It was a, a conversation that cheap Keith is not more influential than Tupac. I ain't gonna say he influential, but I ain't gonna say more influential than two. Well, let me see. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Let me I, see. I think he fucked with Tupac. Let me see. He influenced a lot of niggas. Bro, like, like, he influenced the whole wave, like, for real. Like, 
For real. And niggas not day. rapping like Tupac no more, bro. Nah, niggas not rapping like Tupac. <laughs> Shit, niggas still sound me. like Cheeky. You right. You Shit. right. You right. If you had to say like, <laughs> if you had to say like how influential Cheeky was, just at when he his his but breakout. I feel like it's, it's it's a generation difference. That's why though. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole generation difference. So it's it's gonna be like that. Like you know what I'm saying? Nah. So oh no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Shit. For sure. He probably inspired his generation, you know what I'm saying? So it just changed. Like, Chief Keep is one of the most influ influential people in this generation, you know what I'm saying, of rappers, for shit show. Like, you can't compare it, like, that's like people always compare it, like, Jordan and LeBron and shit. Like, man, it's not the same. I feel like it's not the same, you know what I'm saying? They don't play the same as the days they did back in the day. Like, it's not the same shit. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, for sure, for Real sure. That shit, bro. Hot in the media right now. This Charleston White has been going crazy. <laughs> Charleston White then turned on Rain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Charleston White Rain got beef right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sis, have you been talking? <laughs> I watch, I watch that nigga shit all the time. That nigga funny, bro. That nigga fried, bro. That's you, a fried old nigga. Do you feel like Charleston White went too far? Like with this? Is, is it Charleston? Is, do you feel like Charleston White? Is on his way out the industry or is it, or what? Man, Charleston White, this is how he found his way in the, in, in the industry. Charleston White gonna do anything for Cloud, anything that's gonna make you click a post. He gonna be disrespectful as possible. If you bite bite the bait, that's on you. Like, why why you gonna take this nigga serious? This nigga do this every time. Like, he just wants, this how he get attention. Nigga, this how this man gonna get paid in the tent. As long as he dissing or talking some talking crazy about somebody, bro, and then he get a reaction out of you, it's just gonna make him bigger and bigger, bro. Like he know what he's doing. That's his blueprint. And I ain't mad at him. The nigga's smart too. He, you know what I'm saying? That's a smart nigga. He know how to build his brand. And he know that's what build his brand. So shit. You just you gonna let the nigga get a reaction out of you? That's on you. Damn. Like, do you feel like it's smart to fuck with Charleston White? Nah, he alone. Hell nah. Boy, you fuck with Charleston White, your ass gonna go to jail, boy. For shit show. And he ain't scared to tell you that's a dangerous nigga. If a nigga tell you that he'll kill you and call the police in the same sentence, like, really, that's a nigga you don't fuck with. Cause you don't know which way he gonna go with it. Like for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? On some real shit. Yeah. Like, you don't wanna you don't wanna take any risk. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You don't want nigga shit pop you, you know what I'm saying? You wanna pop this nigga, he put the laws on you or he you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that nigga dangerous, bro. I stay out of that nigga way, bro. For real though, on some real shit. So I said, I gonna have a nigga locked up somewhere. Oh, for sure, for sure. Now, shit, bro, do you feel like Dallas is uh, do you feel like Dallas is a dangerous city? Hell yeah. If you don't know how to move, or if you don't mind your business, or you want to be in a way, like hell yeah. But I feel like as long as you know how to maneuver, or you don't just be all the way out the way and just niggas be doing too much. Niggas make they self targets, bro. That's one thing about it, bro. And, and one thing I know. If you campaign long enough, your ass gonna get elected in Dallas, bro. Like, for real, bro. So it's all about just, just chilling, bro. Like getting some money and staying out the way. You never heard about a nigga who just getting some money and staying out the way. I ain't gonna lie, it's dangerous for like that. Is it's, it's a lot of robbers out here and shit. But like, it's not really. It's just bullshit out here. Majority of times it be bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, but I feel like Dallas is a dangerous city, bro. Real shit. For sure, for sure. Now, shit. Like, what, what advice would you give somebody to move in Dallas? Shit, mind your business. All you gotta do is mind your business. Stay out the mix, have fun. You can have much fun if you want to. Just know the signs and want to get the hell up out of there. Real shit. When you're down, you gotta know the signs. You see people moving fast, you move fast too. <laughs> Run, no cap. Don't look for it, go. Nah, for real. Like, no cap. For real. Like, that is, you gotta be on point. Like, at all times, like, stay, just stay alert. Like, you know what I'm saying? You never know when it's gonna happen. Like, this is how it be out here.